Today we welcome Governor Pat Quinn to Elgin High School. Today you will sign several bills into law. This is a civic lesson that our students rarely get a chance to witness firsthand, and we're honored to have you here at our fine school. The lawmaking process can be a difficult one. The idea for a bill can be generated from lawmakers, through public advocacy, but sometimes as a result of tragedy. Carolyn Gilbert's often on his mind, uh, as she is on mine. I have dedicated much of my career here since this occurred to making change that works for us to do the right things and things that we can do. What uh, occurred in this case was this, um, this offender was under investigation and that investigation uh, was ongoing while he was attending Elgin High School. That investigation was still going at, uh, ongoing when Carolyn was attacked. What this law changes is allows police in schools to share information when investigations are ongoing and there's a nexus to some school safety um, issue. In this case, there was. Something really bad happened here, and we're here today to make sure that never happens again. We're also here to honor uh, the good work of Carolyn Gilbert. I just want to give you a hug here right now. Uh, we must maintain safety in the schoolroom, in the classroom, so our teachers can do their job and instill knowledge uh, to their students and help their students achieve their, their goals. In this instance, obviously, there was a need for this type of information to be flowing to the school so that we could protect both this teacher and the student body. And I'm very happy and very proud to uh, have been a part of that. I believe that the taxpayers and the voters of District 509, when they gave us the $178 million to, to uh, improve ECC's campus in the referendum, expected us to spend that money at home, putting Americans to work. Uh, Illinois law uh, says to community colleges at that time, um, until today, that you had to buy the cheapest product out there. You couldn't use your discretion to buy an American product that was just slightly more and put Americans to work. If it was a penny cheaper, you had to buy the foreign product. And I thought that was bad law. So I went to my, my friend, hardworking legislator, Senator Nolan, and I pitched the idea of changing that law. And today, I'm really proud to be here to see the governor sign a, a common sense change in the law to allow community colleges the discretion uh, to use the common sense that, that God gave them to represent the voters in a way uh, as, as stewards of their dollars to see to it that those dollars uh, drive the American economy and put Americans back to work. And I can't thank uh, the governor, uh, Senator uh, Noland, and Representative Farnham enough for their support and their prompt action to remedy this. I want to thank everybody who's here. I think the moment has arrived here, Carolyn. We're going to sign the bill. It's important that we understand that when we sign a law, it is all about democracy, about government of the people. And uh, the people are, are the ones who run the show here in America and here in Illinois. And so when we sign a bill into law, that's really an expression of democracy. <laughs>